Hi, Natalie. Hi. Thank you for being here with us today. We have the graduate LLB program here at NUS where someone with a previous degree can now choose to study law. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a JD in two years time. But tell us how you ended up choosing NUS and what did you do before that? So before I came to NUS, uh, I was at New York University. That was where I got my first degree. It was just a liberal arts degree. Um, and I came to NUS because I moved back to Singapore and I wanted to look into graduate studies. But I wasn't quite sure whether or not I wanted to move into academia or if I wanted to practice. I think that was always at the back of my mind. Um, so I wanted to pick a school that would help preserve both options for me. And I felt that NUS had that sort of flexibility, um, most of all because of the faculty it tracks, but also because it does have a focus in both fields. Um, and that's why I came to NUS. Yeah. When you were here, you, you sort of thrown yourself into mooting a lot. Yes. Uh, do you have any memorable experiences? Well, I think I should preface that by saying that mooting was never something that I had much experience with or thought I was going to enjoy. And so my entire mooting journey has been memorable in the sense that I'm doing something that I never planned to do and that turned out to be very rewarding for me. Um, so one of my most memorable experiences, I think, happened quite recently because NUS just won the Jessup Moot um, and I was very lucky to be on that team. So it, 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 it was really quite a difficult but also I think at the end of it rewarding experience. <laughs> And did your participation in Moots uh, help you determine a career path when you graduate? Yes, well, I mean, before I joined NUS, I wasn't sure whether or not I would go into academia or practice. I think Mooting has helped me uh, make that decision and I will be uh, going to basically work in dispute resolutions. Tell me a bit more about uh, why someone would want to choose NUS today, having so many law schools around the world to choose from. Right. I think, first of all, the faculty in NUS is really world class and I, and I don't say this facetiously. There were some professors in NUS that, whose texts I used even when I was in college in the US. And I think, so I think the quality of the faculty is really quite amazing. And then second of all, I think it's also because NUS preserves that flexibility for their students to do things other than practice. Academia is one option, but I also think that a lot of the students in NUS have many different skills and have many different talents. And I think in NUS, there is still that freedom to be able to explore those things. And a lot of the skills that you learn in NUS are super transferable. So one of my favorite classes was the, was the writing and advocacy class that we all take in our first year. And the things that we learned there, how to craft a good argument, how to present yourself, all these things that are are super transferable and you could use it even in fields that aren't the law basically. Mm -hmm. So I, I definitely think that it's worthwhile. Well I hope those are the life skills we've equipped you and uh, made you future ready. Thank you for Thank spending you. time with us Natalie and good luck. Thank you.